What is it about ships that makes them so slow? In terms of physical size, ships' engines are enormous. They're so big the larger ones are typically known as cathedral engines. The Emma Maersk is powered by one of these. She is an E-Class container vessel almost 400 metres long and was the largest container ship ever when she was launched back in 2006. Of course, since then, Maersk have bought out the Triple E-Class, which is slightly longer and wider, and other companies have bought out ships even bigger still. Her main engine weighs 2,300 tonnes and pumps out a whopping 109,000 horsepower. Now, it's easy to compare that to a car, as they all publish the horsepower of their engines. For typical cars, you're looking at about 100 horsepower, depending on the configuration you've chosen. At the extreme end, you've got F1 cars, which can be pushing 1,000 horsepower. It is a little trickier to compare that to an aircraft, as they use jet engines, which produce thrust instead of the mechanical horses that we use everywhere else. The maths is complex, but the best estimates I've found put typical 747 engines at around the 150,000 horsepower mark. So, for power, it makes sense that the plane is the fastest, but the ship comes second, and she is still slower than the car, so there must be more to it than just the horses. With movement and things, another factor always makes an appearance. Mass. 